fairly short time here, but just talk about your, we didn't get to talk to you after you left, the experience of being here for the time you were here. Loved it, man. Um, I went out and talked to the pitchers so far, most of my friends. Um, Joe's a little upset, you know, he had a he had a tough loss yesterday in fantasy to me. But, uh, I mean, I, I was happy to be here. Great group of guys, coaches care. I mean, as I said it a million and one times, um, miss, miss the, the relationships I, I build with guys. What, what was the city like for you as far as like when you'd go out and people recognize you? And It's the Midwest, man. Everyone's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you, when you got traded in Miami, it was pretty close to before game time. How did that kind of situation go for you? Man? I was actually walking down uh, to, to, the, to the field, and DB was like, uh, I got to talk to him. Right then and there, I knew, I knew I got traded. What's it like seeing guys still wearing the fam shirts? I just, I love them, man. Uh, I told you, the, the relationships I built here, it's, it's, it's going to be forever. Um, you know, you said a couple times here, when, when you were here that you saw some really good things on the horizon. I know there's a little different team now, but do you still look around and see some of that? Yeah, they have uh, three really good young starters, man. Lodolo, Green, and uh, Ashcraft. You know, those are three guys that, I mean, they could they, they could go deep in games. See, like, hey, <laughs> what's up, baby? <laughs> they, they go deep into the games. Yeah, hey, I'll be out there and take some grounders. <laughs> Um, and I mean, next year they'll get Sims back and uh, uh, TJ. Um, they're, they're, they're close. I, I always said that. Um, this is a team not far away from winning. What on the position side? Who was it that you kind of saw that as? They um they have T uh, India and Sinzel, man. They, they they have some uh, building blocks around here. Uh, might just need me. <laughs> <laughs> You talked about the pitchers. Now you kind of have to face them. Uh, what, what's that going to be like standing in against, especially a guy like Lodolo tonight? I know. I wish I would have stood in with Lodolo when he was throwing ball pits. <laughs> so I guess I'm free looks. But, I, I mean, he's he's good. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of him. What was kind of the emotions when the trades did start happening? And then knowing your his record, you may have thought that was coming. but just Yeah, it's always tough, man. Uh, when you get traded in the middle of the season, it's, it's, it's tough. But it's it's a business. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> kind of on that note, Tommy, obviously being a professional baseball player is a little unpredictable, but when you sign here, I, I'd imagine you plan on finishing the year, but it's kind of the emotions coming back to the Reds and being on the opposite dugout. Uh, you see it, man. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to have about 20 more minutes over there catching up with everybody else. It's, it's, it's tough, but... Um, I love those guys too. It's just like I said, life after baseball. You know, I have no friends. Um, I mean, Farmer said he's going to take me hunting. You know, I haven't been hunting before, so I'm, I'm ready to knock that out in the off season. Him and uh, Tyler Naquin. So we'll see. How are you feeling? Free agency again next season. Got to finish strong. <laughs> Got two more weeks. Got to finish strong. What Balls you... aren't helping me, man. I'm getting killed this year. What did you learn from that experience that you take in to going back into free agency? Uh, just a little bit more prepared for, for what it really is. That's, that's really it. Okay. What do you mean about the, the balls? A lot of guys have kind of made that the play this year. Getting killed on my Oppo fly balls, man. I'm a guy that, that relied on you know my Oppo juice and this year and this thing there. He's killing me. Talk about the challenges of playing left field here. What's the challenge of playing left field? Uh, just the wall. You know, you're so close. Here, you're able to catch more balls. Fenway, you, you, you kind of lose that because the wall. Um, you get more outfield assists, easier outfield assists. But just adjust.